Hello guys, welcome to another exciting and interesting project series tutorial with Django. And in this series, we are going to be building together a web app like YouTube, a YouTube clone. So we're building our own video management system that has most of the functionalities you see in YouTube. The user will be able to create channel, upload their videos, and other users can watch the videos and subscribe, like, and all that. So those features we'll be seeing them in this video management system. Obviously, we will not be able to implement all the functionalities that you see on YouTube because YouTube is a very large app that is being maintained by a lot of developers working together. So it will be kind of very difficult for a single developer to implement all the functionalities. But despite that, we will be, we'll try as much as possible to implement most of those features that we see on YouTube. So before we start with the project to do and the code, take a quick demo of the app. That will be building this is the app so what can we do with this app there are a lot of functionalities at this stage that we can do with this app users can log in when they log in they can create channel when the user log in for the first time this particular link will show create channel but after you've created your own channel you have your own uh, a link change to your channel where you can visit your channel you can log out and now you can watch your videos and other users video even when you are not logged in you can also watch video because that is how it is in youtube and look at videos from your own channel from other users channel you can decide to watch a video all right so you can decide to like a video you see when i like the video the video is liked and the like can't increase it you see this uh, channel this particular channel has two subscriber so you can also comment if you want to comment on the channel um, recommended videos these are other videos recommended you can also watch other uh, videos there's a lot of functionalities here and then uh, you can create channel as i said before and if you go to your channel you can see your channel name your channel ads and your channel icon you can see the list of the videos in your channel You can decide to edit your channel maybe change your channel name your channel art or your channel icon or your description if you want to and then also if you want to edit your videos maybe you want to delete or change the name of your video you can see uh, this is a simple dashboard you see the total number of video you have the number of subscribers you have you can decide to update the video if you want to update the video you can here you can update the video's title description change it from visibility and from public to private if you don't want others to see the video or you can change your tone name so that's for that and then you can also decide to delete a video if you hit the delete button we ask, ask you are you sure you want to delete this video you can decide to confirm for now we don't want to delete any video and you go back to your dashboard all right you can upload videos also when you head to the upload you get you to the upload this upload we have to kind of upload here you can upload your standard select file or you can drag and drop we'll be doing this using a javascript and hs that's for that and you can upload more videos by selecting or by drag and drop and then all right so for now that is it maybe as time progresses we'll add more functionalities to it and then there's a lot of functionalities i could not mention now and then will add a lot to it definitely will add some other functionalities to it so this is it for now and then uh, to easting our development page i've already designed this uh, template that we'll be using in the course of this tutorial i did this with html and then uh, tailwind css i'm not a youth fan of tailwind css obviously this is my first time of using tailwind css and i know the design is not that perfect but at least we can do with this design the focus of this tutorial is for the Django part of it all right so this is it so I want this template to work along with me i'll leave a link where you can download the template from my github so that you can use it also but if you want to implement yours if you want to design your own template it's also you're also welcome to do that then, okay let's go back to our code editor so that we can start planning our project we'll plan our project how we want this project to be and what we want to see in this project there's a lot we're going to do in this app but we're going to list out some field that we're going to begin with 
So first of all, what we're going to start with here, after setting up our development environment, set up environment. Next, we'll talk about the authentication, work on the authentication. Django art. Django all art. So that's very easy to implement. So we'll be doing that. Now, after we do that, users, register users will be able to create their channel. So when a user creates channel, the user can also decide to edit their channel. Okay, we will, the user can also upload their videos. Upload videos. Then other users can also watch uploaded video they can like the video like or dislike like or dislike the videos of the video they are watching you can also comment on the video which other functionalities again and uh, also we can also get the get the view can't now this view can't is not only for registered user both anonymous user and the registered user all right so get the view can't so which other functionalities again and then um, you can also edit users can also decide to edit your video and you can also decide to delete videos all right okay uh, okay so we'll start with this for now maybe as time progresses maybe other functionalities will come in and uh, we'll add into our to do's so that's for that so up next now we will quickly set up our development environment which will create our virtual environment and all that environment. navigate to the folder where you want to put your project I'm already in mine. So, first of all, you need to have Python installed and also have your virtual environment installed. Once you install Python, you can pip install your virtual environment. I already have mine installed. So, what I simply do is just to add um, create a virtual environment and activate it. So, to do that, I say them um, virtual env followed by my environment name. So, the name I want to give my virtual environment, I'll just call it the env. So, this will take some few minutes to all right we have that already installed our uh, virtual environment is created already so all we need to do now is to activate it to do that we simply navigate into the folder where it is the folder that was just created which is the dev slash script file inside this folder and then activate Navigate into the folder, then activate. Then our virtual environment. Once you see this uh, kind of brackets and with the name of your virtual environment, you know your virtual environment is already activated. So let me just see the back into our base uh, directory, which is the YouTube clone tutorial. So here we're going to install our Django now. Say pip install Django. Alright, so the all right, we got that installed already. Our Django is already installed. Don't mind this error about a um, pip version. So now to create a Django project, we know how to do that by saying um, Django dash add me start project. We'll give our project a name, so we're gonna call our project. Let's call it YouTube app. You underscore app we have our project created already so we can then let's quickly open this in our code editor so I'll code, open it in Visual Studio Code all right yeah we have it here open already you can see the virtual environment folder and you see the app that we just created so let's rename this top folder Let's rename it to source as the top and layer folder. These are Django I 
project that we just created and inside we have our settings via urls and manage.py so i won't be taking time to explain all these i believe you already know all these already know what that means what i don't have to go into all that okay we already have a a jingle set up already you can quickly just take these out don't need them all right so i believe our environment is already set up we can also there's a um, cd into source and let's start our project by saying python manage.py run server you see you have 18 on a, on applied migrations okay we know that just ignore that we make migrations later so let's go to this um, this uh, URL you find out that uh, okay now we have this uh, once you see this home page you know that Django is properly installed and is working fine so our development environment is set up already so I'll end this video here so in our next video we pick it up from authentication so thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up so that other Django developers can find this video easily. Thank you.